I've always preferred Apple's HomeKit app. I think it has a nicer UI and it's miles better at creating and using scenes than the alternative Google Home. However, Google arguably makes some of the best smart home products, especially at a good price with their Nest range, so I was left with a bit of a dilemma when the two don't play nicely together. That's when I discovered the Starling Home Hub, a product which acts like a simpler version of HomeBridge, allowing Nest products to work with HomeKit, so I ordered one. Before I dive into the video, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who's watched my videos so far, liked them and commented. I started this channel as a hobby just over a month ago and didn't expect the start I've had so far, so thank you. So, what is it? The Starling Home Hub is basically a plug and play version of HomeBridge. What is HomeBridge you ask? It's basically a lightweight server you can run on your home network that emulates the iOS HomeKit API and allows you to integrate with smart home devices that do not natively support HomeKit. The Starling Hub will essentially allow you to control all of your Nest devices from Apple's HomeKit app like they were natively supported. Where Starling Home Hub excels is its simplicity. Plug it in and use their nice UI, log into your Nest account, no data is shared with them, and you're pretty much set up and ready to go. So, that's setup process. I really can't express how simple it is. Once plugged in and connected via Ethernet, you visit the Starling setup page and simply connect your Google or Nest account. And once that's done, you'll see all your Nest devices and be prompted to switch to the Apple HomeKit app to add the hub to your home. A quick scan of the HomeKit code on the device and the app will start prompting you to add all of your Nest devices to the relevant rooms. So, what's good about it? It really is one of the easiest setup processes I've experienced, especially with a device which is making something incompatible work. So you don't need to be a techie person to make this work, which is one of the major benefits of the Starling Home Hub over HomeBridge. The Hub also has support for all current Nest products, from speakers to smoke alarms, doorbells, cameras, and pretty much anything else you can think of. And it has a lot of the features you would expect, letting you add Nest products to HomeKit scenes and automations. You can also use the two-way audio with doorbells and cameras, AirPlay with Nest speakers, and more. Finally, and probably most importantly, it's a relatively affordable option at $89 or £64 here in the UK. So if you do use HomeKit and own a Nest product, it's a great option. But what's bad? Well, it only supports Google Nest products, whereas HomeBridge supports hundreds of different branded devices, but it's much more complicated to set up if you're not very techy. Another alternative to HomeBridge is Hoobs, which is another plug and play option, but not as simple to use as Starling, but it does support a wide range of products from different brands with HomeKit. The Starling Hub doesn't currently support Apple's HomeKit secure video, so if you want to keep your recordings, you'll need a Nest subscription but Starling have said they are working on integrating Apple's HSV functionality. It also requires a wired Ethernet connection, so it's another device you'll need to connect to your router, which is annoying as more and more products are doing this. Finally, you do run the risk of Google or Apple making a change to their APIs, which could block the Starling Home Hub functionality. But in the few years it's been available, this hasn't happened, so I'm inclined to think it should be fine. In conclusion, the Starling Home Hub is a small, simple smart home hub with a single purpose, to connect Nest products to HomeKit, and it does that really well. Setup took all of five minutes, and my Nest products showed up in the Apple Home app where I could control them like any other HomeKit device. Until Apple and Google decide to work together, the Starling Home Hub is the best way to do it yourself. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful if you have been looking for a solution to Nest and HomeKit compatibility. If you did enjoy it, please drop a like or maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.